Well, I've had some people ask about the D-ring harness. Uh, it's a great harness for logging. Anything where you want to take weight off the horse's necks and put it on their back. There's zero weight on their necks. In fact, I even had to cut that strap the other day. Uh, nothing holding this end of the tongue to the neck. It all goes right up through onto the back pad. Um, maybe we'll come around to Jim's side. You see, it's the same way with Jim. You know, I'll unhook all of these just for a demonstration to show you that there's no straps holding this uh, tongue to the to the collars. All the weights on the back, and even if I uh, sit on here, which you all have probably seen this demonstration, my weight, and that's a pretty heavy tongue weight, it's still on horses' backs, not on the not on the collars you'll find most of the nah, maybe not most but an awful lot of loggers have went to this i know andy herzog did years ago steve perrine jason rutledge all the new england guys have always done it that's where it originated um it's a good it's a good harnessing system for logging um my harnesses are rough but you know as les barden used to explain the D-ring on this New England harness is Grand Central Station, is what he would say. It all goes through here. Your trace, your front tug goes in here and it comes out the back. Market strap goes in the top. Belly band comes out the bottom. Your hold back comes out the side of the D-ring and out the front. And when everything's properly adjusted, it holds the tongue weight right up here on the back from this strap to the back. Uh, Hey bud, when everything's properly adjusted and you're not backing up, these are loose and the britchin's loose and you won't wear any hair off their butt or anything. Now where you will wear hair off a horse and you see I have some uh, padding like a, a neoprene type of padding here. You can wear some hair off a horse there. I need to get wider pony yokes is what I need. Uh, you look on LV boy and I did wear a little bit on him, and that really gets exacerbated in the summer. Uh, I need to make these pony yokes wider, you know, just like we make the single trees on an evener wider for big horses. But that's it. That's as simple as the deering harness is. Uh, you got to have everything fitting right. 22 inches from the deering to the hame. That's that's your key measurement, and then you have to have it hooked tightly. Um, and you can't hook too close up here. What I've found is when the horses are pulling on a heavy load, their, their fronts will bang into that pony yoke. But um, here again on Elvis, you see the side straps loose, britchin's loose until they're backing something up. Hey, partner. Um, that, that's just as simple as a D-ring harness is. Now, if you hook it loose, uh, the tongue goes down. If you hook it tight, the tongue comes up in the air. And that's about as tight as we can hook. And that's about the level I like the tongue. Uh, hooking tight also eliminates tongue sway. So what we get on a log cart a lot is tongue sway like this. Especially if you hit a rock or a frozen root or something with one of your wheels. And the tighter you hook, the less of that you get. And also, even if you do get tongue sway, it's not rocking this collar. If you could imagine another style harness with it hooked to the collar, it rocks the collar back and forth, which causes sore necks. Um, other than that, uh, you know, logging, if I mowed hay, I'd probably use a D-ring a lot more, but logging's about the only time I, I use a D-ring. Other than that, I, I use a regular harness. Like everybody. So I guess, uh, I guess questions for you about the D-ring, Feel good to address it.